Hello, I'm Stephen Ritter. That's just like Johnny Cash, wasn't it? That was just like him. Just exactly I, I got confused the, for a second there. Did you? Oh, yeah, I Exactly did. the same, only different. But in a better but different way. <laughs> I was just watching a video today of Johnny Cash. I just got that. So, uh, hello, Stephen Ritter here. Uh, Phil Stokes' son on the camera today is the cadet. Yep. My son, Benjamin Ritter. And... Uh, uh, there's is there somebody you'd like to give a special shout out to today Benjamin yeah Joan Joan Hoke thank you for your fan mail I think that's how you say it uh, sorry mail. if I have yeah she, you were a little wrong. shocked to get that I was so, a little shocked yeah yeah so that was that was a nice gesture and we do appreciate that we I mean I really mom always talked about that just about the the the, the love she felt from everybody and it was overwhelming I mean, she just she had no idea it was like that and I'm starting to get a taste of it now too and I and, and Benjamin and I was getting a little taste of it too. So we appreciate that very much. We really do. Um, I hope you have fun watching us. And again, I'll just say right off the bat again, I am not an expert chef by any means. I'm, I'm an expert pilot, right? Uh, that landing the other day, but it's <laughs> the other way. <laughs> well, that was the winds. That, that had nothing to do with it. So that wasn't my fault. No. Um, but uh, we just have fun doing it. We, we have fun in here in the kitchen and doing this. So today we have a special treat, don't we? Yes. This is where you, all the rest of the time, your challenge is to speak nothing but German the rest of the time. Ich kann nicht. <laughs> kann, kann nicht. So, I, I, ein bisschen. <laughs> we're going to have uh, a special treat. We used to get this all the time. We would go to the Schwimmbad, which is like the local swimming pool. And we would get these there all the time as one of the places. You get them all over. It's curry, currywurst. So it's German sausages with curry flavored ketchup, basically. So, and it goes on it. We're going to have that tonight for, for dinner. So I'm going to fire up a batch. Uh, full disclosure, um, and the, the recipe I got is from uh, a little, little fact. On, so I'm going to be following this all night. But this is from a, a lady named Herta Heuer. Uh, it was a German who lived in Berlin, and this was in 1949. She was a, a chef or a cook or whatever. She had a little embus, which is basically like a little... It's like a cafe kind of thing. I, not even that. It's like a... It's like it's, a food truck almost. It, it is. It's like a, a non-mobile food truck, right? Yes. It's like a little sh shack for food. It's a little embuses. So they're all around. It's a quick place to grab a quick bite. Currywurst is a staple now because of Herta Heuer. She, she worked in the British sector of Berlin in 1949, and the, the, the British folks there, the workers, the soldiers, whatever uh, there, uh, would bring, uh, she, she was able to get curry powder and ketchup and Worcestershire sauce. And from that, she added a few other special ingredients and created this currywurst, uh, delicious currywurst. Call it curse worse ketchup, but there's so much in this. Um, really, the 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 ketchup gets lost because it's a, it's a magical treat. It's just a, it's like a German elf just puts his finger in ketchup and bling, there you go, right? Yes, yes, it's delicious. So we're gonna have that tonight. Uh, I'm gonna make that, and uh, and then we'll grill up some uh, some German uh, sausages, rotwurst. Now we're gonna have some of that, some knockwurst. We're gonna grill that up. And then that's going to go, and then you cut it up, and you put the currywurst over. It's good. It's tasty, right? Schmeckt gut. It's good. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off just a, I want a pan. Everything's going to end up in this pan. Um, so you want to make sure you got a good enough size. Now, good size. the recipe that I'm going to use, um, I, 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 I'm just going to, what I'm going to do, if you look down below, and again, on your way down for the, for the directions and the ingredients, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Also, look for that little, uh, what is that thing? A it's a bell. Bell, yeah. So anytime I uh, post a new video, you'll get a notification. So click on that if you want to, so you'll know you won't miss an episode. Also, any live streams? Hint, hint. Hint, hint, yes. So Sunday the 7th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, me and Benjamin and Bella are going to do another live Q&A. So have your questions ready and uh, be ready to dial in, so be looking for that. So everything's going to go into this, uh, and we're going to start. So I'm going to just kind of turn this on, get this lit up. It's lit, so turn it on about medium heat, and I'll put a little uh, couple of tablespoons of olive oil here, because what we're going to do is just we're going to 
I'm not gonna brown it, but we're gonna just saute some uh, onions. Onions. Now the, the directions, the, the ingredients I have below, what that will give you is a cup and a half of this curry worst sauce, this curry ketchup. I'm doubling that, or you could triple it, whatever, because I know Benjamin basically drinks this stuff. It's so, good. So we need to have a lot of it. So I'm gonna start off, uh, so I'm gonna start off, I got some onions here, I'm gonna go with about a cup. I eat about a cup and a half myself of this sauce. <laughs> yeah. So we don't wanna, um, we don't wanna brown this, we wanna, um, all we want to do is just, we want to slowly cook it till it's translucent. So I got some olive oil in there, so that's going to go. And in the meantime, while we're while that's kind of warming up here, I've got some, uh, I'm going to grab this plate here, but I'm going to get some garlic. I've got about two, for my grid, i got two cloves of garlic, so... Again, follow the follow the directions. If you want to cook as much as I do, make this much. Now this will keep for about a month once you put it in the fridge. And and according to the recipe, it'll get better every day. So the next day it's supposed to taste even better because the flavors start pairing up and matching up, and it's uh, it's pretty tasty. So we're gonna just slowly cook that and brown it. Brown these up. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not brown them up. We're gonna just uh, translucent. Translucent, right? Translucent them. Translucent them. You got any good? Uh, you got any good stories from, uh, from Germany? From uh, now, I remember you always looked forward to getting this, didn't you? When we went to the swim bar. Oh yeah, we had our swim lessons every week. We'd always have this, and I always get out of the pool all tired, and I just. Oh yeah, yeah it was good. good. It's a good way to. Put a little food on your belly. And it was always like, it was always like, it was always a challenge balancing how much fun I want to have in the pool versus, because you know you get to the curry wars before you know my brothers or sisters you know, you get more. <laughs> but do you? That means you have less fun at the pool. So which one did I? I you know I valued the curry wars obviously more. So usually I had less fun at the pool and just went and ate curry wars. <laughs> so you were first in line for yes. curry wars. No, they would give you those little wooden, uh, the little like little, fork things. Little forks, yeah. yeah, the little disposable wooden forks. It was like little two little tines on it. And you just yeah. kind of would stick it and you'd yeah, eat like one little chunk of, uh, of worst at a time. Yeah, it was good. Um, nothing like onion sauteing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, all I remember, uh, if you've never been over to Germany, uh, you go in those Schwimmbads. Europeans are a lot less modest than Americans are, aren't they? Yeah. So you walk one, into one these complaint. things, and uh, <laughs> I, I never forget walking in there. And you know, you walk in, and it's like a locker room, and people would walk in. Of course, it's like freezing outside. Usually, it was indoor heated pools. You walk in, and it's freezing outside. So you change and change in your swim trunks in there, right? And you walk in, and and it, you'd, you'd think that you know there'd kind of be changing rooms. No, it's it's you walk in, and there's somebody standing there just butt naked. I mean, ooh, it was it was a little unnerving. It was almost worse seeing them in the like the, the big the big big guys and like the really really tiny speedos. It was almost worse. They they yeah, and there were some swim bods there you couldn't wear American style swimsuits. They would make you wear the like speedos. Yeah. And uh yeah, yeah. Not, but it, the most dis well uh, disturbing, different thing is is you know people in there taking showers and all, and of course we're all in there, and I got three three of you boys in there, and, and you know naked people everywhere taking showers, cleaning off from the shrimp, and there's a lady in there cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> I mean she just you know she's just not looking. I mean she's not like staring or anything, but she's just mopping up the floor, and they just walk in and start cleaning. It's like I got a job hey, to do. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you know. I remember that. I got a job to do. Yeah. So these are. Now all of this is going to end up in a blender and all blended together. So I just got, I guess this just kind of translucent, kind of softens them up a little bit. Kind of gets the flavors going a little bit. Man, that smells good. Nothing like onions sauteing in olive oil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. So get them close there.
We don't want to brown them. So I've got two, two cloves of garlic and I just chopped them up fine. I'm going to toss these in there and cook this for about 30 seconds to a minute, something like that. Just get that in there too. Yeah, that the uh, all the German wursts and all that, man, that was good stuff. Oh, to make their meats. It's it's different than the like you know the bratwurst you get here. You know they're they're a little bit different. Uh, it's like getting pasta in Italy. Like true. It's just it's just different. Just seems that way, doesn't it? You know. Yeah. We'll get the garlic in there, sautéing as well, softening it up, looking good. Let that go for a little bit. Now I've got this next thing I've got ready to go in is a mixture of curry powder, uh, paprika, ground cloves, and cinnamon. And again, look down below. You see the the recipe and the and the the. Uh, amounts and everything else but that's going to go in here too just kind of keep it from browning and garlic's like strong isn't it yeah breath mints all right looking good and the spices are going to go in here and i'm going to just kind of mix this together for about 30 seconds and then we're going to put the rest of our ingredients in. So that, well, you really smell that cinnamon right off the bat, don't you? Yeah. Let's kind of make it, this is kind of a roux in a way. A roux. Let this all mix together with the onions. And then we'll all, because i got some wet stuff going in next, so. It's like hamburger, doesn't it? Yeah. And... Mm. Mm. That'd be a funny trick on somebody, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's just cruel, like hamburger meat. Right. Then you want to, all the other ingredients we're going to add. So uh, I've got, um, right here, I've got two cups of ketchup. Just regular old, I use Hunt's uh, all natural ketchup here. That's what I've got going on. I'm going to add that in. And now the magic is starting to happen. You can smell that curry powder, can't you? Yeah. We get all that goodness out of there. All right. Let me mix that. Now we're gonna just kind of medium low, just kind of get it going, heat it up, getting the flavors mixing together under heat. We'll mix this ketchup in good. Now we're gonna start adding some of our other wet ingredients in here, and it's gonna start. Magic's gonna start happening. Mm. Man, that's oh, that's starting to smell really good. Hello, Bella. Hello. You smell this? Smell that yeah, sewage it thing. Good. Smell the sewage thing. Ooh, that sounds good. You excited about the live chat on Sunday? Oh yes. Mm, that smells good. All right, now I got uh, two tablespoons of tomato paste are going to go in next. Tomato paste. Tomato paste. This is a little bit of the tomato taste and thicken it up a little bit. Is ketchup like a jam since tomatoes are fruit? That, that's, a, that's one of those questions that... Why ask? Hmm. You know, that's like, who invented cheese whiz and why? One of those questions that just keep this, turn this on low here. So I want to get this up to a simmer, but I don't want to burn it. Definitely, I want to remember the peanut brittle. Don't want to burn it, right? Yeah. Oh man, that really the flavors are starting to pop now on that. So that was tomato paste. Next, I want. Uh, I gotta put some vegetable broth in there. How much? Well, ten. I'm putting ten tablespoons again. I'm doubling the uh, recipe before, so one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, tenths. Ten tablespoons. Next up, back up a little bit. So that with the tomato paste. Because the consistency is about like ketchup in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah those emphasis. And then another thing, you know, you can have with it, um, we make some French fries up with it. But one of the other things is get some broaching, like the crispy uh, bread. Yeah. You know, that's. Uh, the, the, it's like it's like French bread on the crust, but they're little small rolls, and, and it's just topful brochin or Berliner rolls is what they call them too. It's just table table bread, topful brochin. Uh, that's coming together good. So you can see a little bit of the chunks in there. That's uh, onions, but again, it's going to go on the blender and it's going to get shwacked down. All right, so I need two tablespoons. Of apple cider vinegar in there as well. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I never knew that was in there either. One, two. Get a little kick. Starting to bubble up. <clears throat> yeah, we'll turn that heat back down. So we want it. We want it just oh. simmering. We're gonna next is two tablespoons of honey, and I got uh, this is the honey we got from the uh, farmers market. This Charleston honey, just from local. Now the thing is, the thing about local honey, you know, it has a lot of good health properties to it. You get honey from around you and everything else. I've heard that uh, it helps with allergies, because you know the bees go around all those and get the pollen and everything else from the from the local area. Um, that it'll help you with your allergies. So that's something to try. Hmm. Two tablespoons of honey. One. Oh, and I do like honey. This is pretty good honey. Two. And whatever sticks to the inside, so get to eat. <laughs> I have to clean that off the jar there. Mm. That's good stuff. All right, let me get that mixed in too. It's got that nice brown curry color. Yes. Yeah. Good old German food. Although, I'll tell you, going into the butcher there, where we lived in uh, in. Germany in Stuttgart, there's a little suburb of Stuttgart called, called uh, Bublingen. And uh, they actually have the uh, butcher Butcher's uh, Museum there. Like for all the butchering and the, all the cased meats and everything else, making all that. So that was, it's like an art form there, you know? Yeah. Uh, let's see, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce going next. So this is. Uh, Thank you very much, England. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I, 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 some of our folks from the UK watching this, uh, you know, you guys like drink a little shot of this every day. Is this like a something to do every day? Worcestershire sauce. Kind of like a, is it like a multivitamin for them, or like? <laughs> just like before you go to school, you gotta have your Worcestershire. And we're gonna go with. Uh, Teaspoons of sugar. Interesting. Yeah. Now this is. Now I'm always hesitant to put sugar in because you guys give me a hard time about put sugar and stuff. You remember? When oh I made yeah. That? You, you, he made nachos and he put in sugar because it was too chili flavored. I don't think Man, sugar was the right. It's like s sweet and savory. It was just it was not good. All right. Now I've got just yellow mustard. Paired yellow mustard, half a teaspoon. That's what I'm going to go with here. I'll put a little more because some of it sticks to the side. Uh, let's 
let's see. I'm going to go with a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to put in some uh, kosher salt because I like the taste. Oop. Hold back a little bit because that's not a little much. Okay. And then the last thing we got is uh, like a quarter teaspoon of uh, black pepper, which I'm going to just kind of eyeball. This is ground. A little technique here so, so I can kind of figure out how much I want. So I like pre-grind it and then I just carefully pop this top off. And there it is right there. So that's about right. That's what I'll go with. And then that is it. And then you just stir it around. We want to kind of get it to a simmer. And we'll let it simmer for about 15 minutes. And then we'll put it in the blender. And then we'll put it in the fridge and let it cool. And we'll get our sausages ready. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right, so tell you what, we'll come back um, here in a few minutes. We're gonna let all we're gonna do is just bring this back up to a, like a, a real low simmer, and we'll let it simmer for a little while and, and cook down a little bit, and uh, we'll be right back. Hey, so our sauce over here, what we want to do is cover it, all right, and it's got a nice little uh, nice little simmering bubble going. Um, every now and then, just kind of take the top off. Oh yeah, that smells. It's got a nice little bubble going. Just give it a little stir. All we want to do is so it'll it'll kind of heat evenly all through. We're, again, we want to do this for about 15 minutes or so. I'll probably even turn this heat down some. So this is just getting all those flavors all mixed together nice. Got the flavor. Okay, now I'm going to talk real quick about, so this is what we're going to eat them with. So uh, the German stuff, I, I, I went with, this is, this is a little bit more, I mean this is not very frugal I guess, but, uh, but I like the taste. But boar's head stuff is, is pretty close to what the Germans uh, do, pretty close to the German stuff. You know, just your every average run-of-the-mill Hickory Farms bratwurst or something is probably not going to taste exactly like what you get in Germany. Is that, is that your opinion too, Benjamin? Yeah. I mean, they're good. They yeah, just, yeah. You know, I've heard people, you know, uh, uh, you know, boiling them in beer before they grill them, um, things like that, and that's a, that's a way to kind of get them close. But the boar's head's pretty close. I uh, got some uh, knockwurst, uncured knockwurst. And I also got these beef frankfurters because I just I'm curious how those would taste. So those are a lot like American hot dogs, but that's beef. These these are beef. This is called rotwurst. Rote meaning what? What's rote? Red. Red. Red worst. And you also got vice worst, which is vice is white. White. Right? So yes. Uh, the the white. A lot of times we would get uh, with with uh, the curry worst, but I think and most of us I think agree the red's a little bit. Yeah, better the red's the curry. best. Red's the beef. A lot of times white is the pork. Pork. Right? Yeah. yeah. So. This is basically beef, beef uh, bratwurst basically is what this is. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna blanch them real quick and then they're gonna go out on the grill. So we come back, uh, the, it'll be time to put the currywurst in the blender, get it all blended up nice and then get it in the fridge to cool down a little bit. So we'll be right back. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. Uh, we'll come back now. So it's been in a low simmer. I've stirred it a couple times. Whew, smell that. Is the smell meter on? And uh, yeah, I should have fixed it. It's working now, isn't it? Yeah. Let's give it. Get, get, did you get in there and get a good? Yeah, breath? I did. Did the lens fog up? No, nah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do now is take this over to our handy dandy Vitamix. This probably looks familiar. This was my mom's. Uh, we're gonna pour this in here. I'm gonna blend. We're gonna basically pure. Puree it till it's smooth. Try not to make a big mess. So you can see there's still those onion chunks and some of the water is kind of boiled out. So we'll Careful. Kind of, oh, that'll be a tasty snack while we're waiting here. I ain't eating that. No? Not yet, no. So we've got some of the onions, some of the thicker part of the tom tomatoes. I said that English style, see that? Tomato. Tomato. Potatoes. Good. All right. So that's going in. Top goes on, and we'll fire it up. Blender here a little bit. Puree it. So we're looking for it to be nice. 
nice and smooth. I guess you can make some soup in these things if you let it run long enough, I guess. I don't know who would make soup in one of these. I don't really play around with that, but that's a good, uh, Cups of good old curry, uh, curryworst curry sauce here. I think so. Mm, smell that. So we gotta get a little taste here. Mm. There you go. All right, so I'll try this a little bit here. Oh, that's gonna be good. Oh, that's think? good. Yep, that's gonna be good. So. Next thing we'll see, we're, so we're, what we're going to do now is, is let this cool down a little bit. We're going to get it in the fridge. Or, I mean, you can, you can do it hot, but really, um, actually, they put it, over, put it over warm, don't they? So yeah. we'll probably u just use this. Whatever we don't use will go in the fridge, but according to the recipe, uh, it's even better the next day. So uh, if you can make it the, the day ahead of time and then have your, your sausages the next day, that probably would be the way to go. But the, they say the flavors keep mixing. and So you really don't want to play around with it too much. Follow the recipe. Don't play around with it too much until the next day, they say, because the flavors melt. So uh, we're going to take a break. In the meantime, I'm going to get the sausages on the grill. Uh, then we'll come back in. We'll cut them up, put our curry, uh, curry worst over the, or get the curry worst going with the broachin and some fries, and then uh, and we'll be done. We'll be ready to eat. Ready? Can you wait, Ben? Yeah, I can wait. <laughs> uh, I, might, I might have to get me some. That's good stuff. Okay, uh, we'll be right back. All right, so our rote worst are all cooked up now. Again, beef hot dogs basically is what these are. Works great too. I I, I personally like the beef, the the red flavor. You can go with the, the white, the vice versa, the, the white sausages, that goes as well. So we're gonna, all we did, all I did was just cut one of these, uh, these, these were uncured knockwurst. Um, I, uh, I blanched them a little bit, and then all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of this curry sauce on the top. And uh, basically it's, it's something to dip them in. Polly, this is yours, by the oh, way. I'm like, yeah, you could you know, lay it off a little bit. There's other people, you know? You gotta oh, spread the gonna, love. That's going to be yours. Yeah, that's you got to spread it among all the brawlers. Yeah, worst. look how much there is. There's yeah. plenty. Oh, you got fries, too, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, that a good, good, good segue. So, we got that. Uh, these are just seasoned fries. Um, you could use the regular uh, French fries, but uh, uh, how many do you want? You want more? I'm okay. more. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. And then this is uh, the, the brochin. This is about the closest thing we can get. The, the crust is a little bit uh, stiffer. You know, we got this from Publix. This is, uh, what do they call these? Uh, Chicago hard rolls. Um, what are these? Pistolet rolls? Anyway, anyway, it's kind of a crust. So this is basically a brochin. So that is an authentic German Imbus currywurst meal. Homemade currywurst. Now, all that being said, you can go on Amazon and buy currywurst ketchup if you don't want to see if you want to skip all that step and just cook yourself a beef hot dog and then squirt the ketchup on it. But the, the homemade's pretty it's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is for Benjamin here. So he's looking at it. He's gonna tackle me here in a second if I keep <laughs> handling this food. Um, don't forget, if you don't mind, like and subscribe and hit the little bell so that you notify whenever we post a video. Don't forget, Sunday uh, at 11 o'clock Eastern Time, um, we're going to have a live chat with me and Benjamin and Bella. So come check it out and have your questions ready and ask away. Like, like, uh, how long did you stare at that curry worse before you ate it? Mm -hmm. Not very long. Should I taste it? Sure, go for it. Yeah, so it's, it's really good on this. So dip it in.
meet it up. You can also use a fork. So, hope you enjoyed it. And that wasn't hot at all. See, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. Right, so, hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I appreciate everything. Uh, all the viewers and everything else, I appreciate that and all the continued support. So, this is the Colonel saying, signing off, over and out.